here. Yeah, so you're not really making much of a rotation there. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of a, maybe a lift of the club. Mm -hmm. And the weight, if you, if you look here, when we get to the top, you can see on the right side where the weight goes a little bit. Not terrible. Considering you're not turning, you know, you stay pretty much behind the ball. But you're losing a lot of, you know, this is where you're losing distance because, you know, you're just using extension. And the club, you know, the 7-iron, you know, that's probably good for a wedge that position but we should see probably you know the angle of the club should be more like that with a seven iron right, so you should be coming in that back yeah it. yeah mm -hmm. so I think you're in this typical scenario with a lot of players get trapped in and may have worked for you okay before um, but you know as you get a little less flexible uh, you know you can't get the club back as quite as much um, you know you start losing distance, but you know, kind of this arm straight, head down type of situation, right? Is that what you sort of focus on a little bit, or not? I, I am. Uh, right. Today I didn't focus on straight arm. All right. And that's what I've been trying to do the last two times. Right. But I do. I am working on trying to keep my head down because my head was yeah. moving a lot. All right. Well, it's really two things that uh, really don't, are not applied to the golf swing. Is anything to do with the head? And then, and there's nothing really straight in a golf swing except your target line. So, arm physically cannot really be straight without it some way collapsing in, in some joint. There's too many joints in there to keep it straight. All right, so not a really good term to think of. All right, uh, although you're, you're doing a good job with the extension, and this is fine, but it does throw the club what we call off plane. Mm -hmm. and, and you come in, and it's steeper. Now, we noticed that you hit a lot of heavy shots. Right. Right. That's so that true. yeah. So that wouldn't be an indication that you're really, and you're actually maybe coming out of the shot a little bit because your weight's shifting a little bit over to the left. All right. But uh, you know you're missing this whole rotation which widens the arc, and you're missing the setting position. So basically you're taking a half a swing. So what happens is is once you get past a six iron, say a, even seven iron, then you start losing your trajectory. Then you lose your distance because you don't have enough speed to create with this club. All your speed becomes the same. So when you get into the into the woods, even if you hit it good, it's still much too low. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what happens is now you start forcing the swing. Okay. Mm -hmm. And you start getting tighter and so that's where we start creating the off balance. All right. So once you start lengthening the swing and lengthening the rotation. Uh, then you're going to find that you don't have to swing nearly as hard to get your distance. So that's what you're striving for right now, is you have a loss of distance. So you're trying to make up for that. Now it's natural when you, when you get older to lose distance. And you also lose speed. But that's okay because we can create a longer swing, mm -hmm. all right, because you're slowing down. You can create a longer swing all right, and still maintain some, some distance all right, or close to. Okay? All right, so this is what we need to do is, is get that backswing in a better position as far as your body's concerned, and particularly the club back itself. Part. All right, so let's take a look. Right. And so you can see the setup positions are, are very similar, okay? But, you know, let's take a look at the, the, you know, the initial rotation there and the position of the club. Look how much difference, you know, the, the position of that club is at the beginning. So this is point one of your backswing. This is very crucial. To everything you do that first half and you can see the difference is where we could see his chest a little bit but look at where his club is it's parallel to his target line see how he has this little wooden piece down here mm -hmm. that rod right there that's what he's working on getting his hands in between his toes and his and his um, and that line right there the ball parallel to his target line okay so that'd be his target line you got the club where way outside mm -hmm. okay so you know and that's a lack of rotation what you're doing is you're reaching around your body so the first thing he does when he goes back, watch how he moves his whole body. No arms, no arms, rotation, rotation. Now he starts working the body because he's got to get the body out of the way and get the weight set over there. Okay, now and we'll see the back swing, how he comes up and sets. Okay. Right. And he's got, he's got a five iron there. And then we can see the difference right there. Okay, and then we'll see the right. difference of the down. So you're coming from outside the ball, right? And then kind of, and you don't do too bad with the impact. I'm pretty surprised at that, you know. 
Um, and then you can see how it's approaching much differently from the inside, right? You can yeah. see the club coming from here mm -hmm. and not over, right? And then where the body is starting to clear. Now, you don't do a bad job with the follow-through. You sort of clear. You do have really good extension, all right? And I think you were using that to get the ball to go where you want it, mm -hmm. all right? And then we can see the finish area which is almost similar, which could be very much similar if you're a little bit better on path, you know, with the club. You following what I mean by path? Yeah. Okay? Yeah. All right. I don't so, know if my body's ever going to be limber enough to do that. Well, you may not get that much so weight big. shift, <laughs> but nah, it seems like you got some good flexibility from your arms. You know, and that's really key. There's, there's, I think there's personally, um, there's a certain characteristic that poor players have that most players, amateurs, and, and other pros might not have. Uh, where they have the ability to um, separate their shoulder blade away from their body, they get this tremendous extension, mm -hmm. and that's why you see when they when they have their arms extended, it appears that their arms straight. But what they're doing is they're moving from here, right. but they're not extending the arm where it's 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 right. tight okay. or locked yeah. in, right? On that. All right. So then, but because of your 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 path, uh, you, your body can't finish like he does. Mm -hmm. So you could probably come that close may not get a 100% of your weight over, right? But you, if we can get 75, I mean, mm -hmm. r here you got, you know, maybe 25 on over there, okay? Man, if you ever get my ass into okay. that ball, imagine how far it could go. <laughs> exactly, it's all timing, <laughs> man. So, thing, yeah. but, so we're gonna sh explain to you a little bit about shaft plane. I think this is important because this is an important visual to maintaining what we call shaft plane or swing plane okay so when you go back your club is coming way outside your mm -hmm. shaft plane which is started right here okay. okay so it should be on that plane right there if we take Ernie back obviously he would be right on that shaft plane mm -hmm. right there okay so now when you're coming you're coming still way out so at this point your hands and clubs should be within that V area okay still not so at really no point during the swing you're ever on plane you're steep okay and this is why we see you hitting those big heavy shots all the time all right and and this is why you also fall off balance a little bit you know so now you're coming way out right and now actually you do right here you recover pretty good and you come back on plane with the impact area mm -hmm. which gives you some ability to hit the ball okay and actually even goes outside there too a little bit. That's pretty amazing. That's that's unusual to go from outside back to outside. Okay. So that's so you're you're compensating a little bit with your impact follow through to get the ball to go where you want it to go. All right, which is actually decent. So if we get you better on plane on the backswing and better weight shift, you know, it'll be easier for you Over. to get back into the ball. That's way outside. Okay. Okay, so what we want to look is we want these lines. See how we created all these lines right here? Mm -hmm. There's a shadowing of the club. So we want to see the club to be, those lines to be close as possible. Now, actually, I think they're going to be close, but they're sort of on the wrong plane. Okay, so it's actually this club is coming a little bit outside the plane, mm -hmm. which really should be traveling where? Okay, should be traveling more out towards the the ball like this okay, okay so yeah. you can see how far apart mm -hmm. your plane is really gonna should be okay now you do actually have pretty much a one plane swing so which is really good that's the simplest form of swing so if we flatten it out and you continue swinging one plane I think we got something now when you get to the tee shot or the longer clubs particularly the the um, fairway woods all right if you're off plane it's very difficult and a fairway wood and, and uh, tee shot, basically, uh, you want to think of having even maybe a flatter type right. of plane because you're not hitting down on the ball. You're sweeping a little bit more. So it's better to exaggerate that plane, maybe go even under the plane a little bit, mm -hmm. you know, on the backswing. So that's I more conducive. That's what I kind of do on my drive. Right. I, uh, maybe. I just, I think I naturally, because right. I'm perceiving where I need to finish, you know, go mm -hmm. through and finish. And I... Now you do a nice job here retaining your angle because we can see that the club is coming in at a shorter uh, 
angle as when you went back. Yeah, it looks okay? like it's all the same, but you're just wrong, right. wrong line, right? Right, so this is good here, just wrong shaft angle. This is good here, you're retaining that, no casting, which is actually unusual too because uh, typically when you go outside like that, the hands give up, okay? So you're doing a lot of things really good, all right, just at the very wrong plane on that. So, and that's also keeping you to, to get the right direction or the right follow through to get the right direction. Yeah, even, even here your plane stays pretty good. So this is pretty unusual. So if we can get you in a better position on the backswing, I think that's going to work out a bit. Okay, so we'll work on that now. Okay. All right, so let's see where we're at with the backswing here. Okay. Great, that's much better on plane coming back. Yeah, so you're much closer to the parallel, all right, where you should be. So it's a little behind you, so it's just a little extra right hand, but that's that's good, good rotation. Okay, and now we're getting the club back. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. Big I difference, was, big yeah, difference. I really think I was missing the ball because I wasn't watching the ball. Well, I was watching to see if I was bringing yeah, it you're back. Yeah, turn, you're turning it back a little bit, yeah. So you do that. I think you actually kind of do that on all your swing. Okay. But, you know, watching the ball is not a really necessity, you okay. know. But certainly turning aw yourself away too much is not too good either. But, you know, I'd rather you do that than, than be too bound to the ball a yeah, little bit. Get back a little All right. Bit yeah, a lot, lot better. Better on plane. All right. So it seems like the weight is still a little bit on the left side. So we'll have to work on your weight shift. So, but it's very feasible for you to get back there. It wasn't that big of a deal. All right. And we did hit a couple of shots, even though they were miss hit. There was a lot more on. So let's take a look at the rest of the downswing here. See how it's on plane. So yeah, much better on. Look at that. Okay, now we got something. Now from there, I think you're going to probably be able to hit your fairway woods at least with some consistency. Okay, still a little heavy because maybe we're breaking down. We've got great extension. The club's going. So you're going to hit the ball great. And look at the difference in the rotation and the weight shift here. That's great movement. Yeah, right, and then we got, uh, look at that, right yeah, top. so now you're about 50, or 25%, now you got 50% of your weight going over there, without really much effort, and then look at the club, it's releasing much better over your shoulder than we saw previously, right? Yes, it is. Right, so it was kind of messy before, right. okay, so you're getting a little bit more release there, okay, so not impossible for you to do it, all right, okay. not any worse than what we're getting from what you were doing before anyway, but this is more on balance, more on plane. But like I said, you're still not getting the weight, you know, properly back on the right side. You're still, when you're coming back, you know, when we see the, let's go back to the takeaway, all right, the top of the swing. See all this separation right here between the legs, all right? That means the left knee is, is collapsing forward, and that usually is an indication that your weight's all on your left side because your knee, your body has to balance that. So if I bring my weight here, then see the weight, the body has to balance that and see how the, I got the openness of my knee right here. Mm. All right, so when we're balanced on the right, see then the knee comes in. All right, all right, so you're not quite over to your right side yet. So that's why we're not getting the good effect yet from this particular position. Okay. All right, but you're on plane, coming down on plane, so almost automatically you change that. Boy, that's a big change. That's great. Okay, which I thought you would do well because you had a one plane swing anyway, just at the wrong plane. All right, but uh, and and now you're able to get over to your right side. Now, you know we got to work a little bit, maybe getting the arm a little bit more relaxed, and then maybe a little bit more distance in that, that back swing. All right, but that that club is much further away from the ball dramatically, so almost automatically. All right, just by physics. All right, mm -hmm. you're gonna swing the club faster, okay? Because it's further away on that. 